Hello, what is happening everybody? It is your boy JD the Prophet, John Denton, and I'm back finally with another album reaction. And yes, the long-awaited reaction to Blonde by Frank Ocean is here. Well, it's going to be here when I record it in a minute, which is happening right now. So apologies for the lack of album reactions on the channel. They're extremely difficult to do. They take a long time. They take a long time to edit. The label takes all the money and I've been extremely busy. But as promised, here we go. It narrowly lost out to Days Before Rodeo on my little poll, 51 to 49. Now, those figures seem very familiar to a British person. But anyway, here we go. Frank Ocean's Blonde. I've literally only heard the track Nights by Frank Ocean. I genuinely don't think I've heard anything else apart from features on other things. For example, in uh, No Church in the Wild by Watch the Throne, which we just did on Rock Reacts. So, yeah. I was going to get straight in there. I've got lyrics up, doing my due diligence. Uh, excited to hear this because I absolutely love that track, Nights. And excited to, yeah, excited to jump in. You know, there must be a reason all you guys have been on at me to react to this album for a long time. So starting off with Nikes, it's Frank Ocean's Blonde. Three, two, one, music. <laughs> Straight away, I mean, it says here on Genius, it's a critique of the trappings of materialistic hedonism. And you can catch that straight from the first two lines, which is when Nike's looking for a check. Obviously, their check on Nike's, we call it a tick in the UK, but I know it's called a check in the US. Um, and then a check, I'm assuming. Not that anybody uses checks anymore, but I get what you're saying. More wordplay than I was expecting, but that's only because I've only ever heard one Frank Ocean song, and I don't think we had lyrics up for that. So I'm glad I've got them up now because I'm going to have to, uh, have to have my bar head on. But at least he's singing nice and so. Also, weird chipmunky type thing going on. It sounds good. To get lost in this music and I think I don't want to get myself pausing too much and breaking down lyrics too much because I do find out these are songs probably to be transported by that's certainly what Nights feels like and this is what this feeling like but I just wanted to check on some of these lyrics for a second here obviously uh, pour up for ASAP um, ASAP Yams who died in 2015 after dosing uh, overdosing on promethazine slash codeine uh, recipes to him obviously Trayvon as well which is um, the story that definitely made it over to the UK and was big news over here as well. well let you guys prophesy, we gonna see the future first. Well, let you guys prophesy, away turf, no astro, mesmerize how the strobes glow. Look at all the people feed dance, I know that your nigga came with you, but he ain't with you. Yeah, I said I was going to let the rest of the song wash over me. I love the fact that he's turned his, to his clean voice. Man, imagine being able to sing like that. Phenomenal. I just wanted to check some of these. We laid out on this wet floor, away turf, no astro. This is drugs, right? You know, he's just losing himself in, uh, I'm assuming, MDMA. Certainly with the mesmerized by how the strobes glow. Look at all the people's feet dance. Maybe they're too, too gone too deep into it. I mean, I can certainly relate to that a long time ago. Uh, all right. But I make love to you when you're not here. I'll save some for you. It's only awkward if you're fucking too. I 
was a hell of an opener. Amazing, soaring, soft, delicate production that um, sort of almost there's an element of psychedelia in there. Obviously, it's R and B, it's hip hop. It just reminds me also a lot of the, the kind of soaring, swooping, transcendent indie music that I've liked. There's Radiohead in there. There's all sorts. There's all sorts. What a fascinating opener. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that this is going to be an artist that I like a lot. Seeing some two tracks in and I love both of them. So, um, yeah, let's move on with Ivy. I don't want to get stuck on just one track because we've got uh, 17 songs to get through. This is going to be a long one. <laughs> I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me Started nothing new, I could hate you now It's quite alright to hate me now Do I see your faces safe in my rental Like an army truck will never be those kids again We tried to see it, had the Killer, this is a killer. This song's an absolute killer. I've not even really paid too much attention to the words. It's just something about it musically, and obviously just the overall. It feels nostalgic. It feels um, introspective. I assume that everything he does is very introspective. I'm just kind of flicking through the lyrics again now. I just I feel like this is an album where I'm going to glance at lyrics and catch bars here and there with the help of genius. So, say catch bars. Um, but at the same time, I really just need a lot of the music to just wash over me. So um, that's that, that's kind of how this reaction is going to go. It feels like I'd be doing the album in Injustice to constantly stop it, try and break everything down. It's not a rap album as much as there are bars in there. So if you forgive me that, there will be plenty of times where I pause, stop and maybe talk after the songs. But I just want to let a lot of the songs wash over me. So hopefully you forgive me that. Ooh, I could hate you now. It's quite all right to hate me now. Screaming my name, the feeling deep down is good. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me. The start of nothing, had no chance to prepare, couldn't see you coming. All the things I didn't mean to say. killed me to be honest I don't know it just took me somewhere <sighs> to, my, to my past my present I mean I don't know if it, it made me well up like I don't even I'm not even ashamed I don't care that was amazing I don't need to speak I think this says enough I'll just move on to pink and white yeah yeah uh... if the ground is black and yellow it's the same way you show me not my head don't close Oh, this is a nice track. I love the piano um, instrumental in the production. It says here that Pharrell maybe produced it. You can hear that for sure in the softness of the synths behind the, the production generally and the, and the use of the drums. It's not as good as the first two tracks, but in a 17 track album, not everything could possibly be that standard otherwise. Nobody would ever listen to anything else, but uh, I like I like you know definitely like this track. I thought it was going to be when it first started. It was going to move into the minor chords a bit more, but um, yeah, I do. I, I like this track for sure. Definitely get the now. If you could die and come back 
to life Upper air from the swimming pool You kneel down to the dry land Kiss the earth that birthed you We showed You showed me love Yeah, I definitely uh, like that track a lot. I like the way the the instrumental worked. Um, it sounded a little more traditionally R and B than the other two tracks, but it was really nice. A very very nice song. Right, moving on to "Be Yourself," a very short track. Many college students have gone to college and gotten hooked on drugs. Call me. Bye. Hand me a towel, I'm dirty dancing by myself. Gone off tabs of that acid. Form me a circle, watch my jagger. Might lose my jacket and hit a solo one time. Solo now. We too loud. So low. Okay. So, so low. It's so low. It's so low. So low. So low. So low. The pros and cons of being alone, I guess. It's hell on earth and the city's on fire. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. It's got the heavy Christian vibes in there, the church organ, obviously the references to heaven and hell and everything like that. It reminds me of Chance the Rapper as well. Um, it's a good track. Again, I think I've been spoiled by the first two, but I still really, really like it. Skipping showers and switching socks, sleeping good and long. Bones feeling dense as fuck, wish a nigga would cross. Even love ain't cause it's not cost. That clinic killed my soul. But you gotta hit the pussy roto. Solo. It's hell on earth and the city's on fire. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. Oh, 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 oh. Solo. Solo. Yeah, Jay's really playing organ on that. You can hear that actually, having listened to Assume Form. It's very similar the way it's played on that. I didn't realise it was actually him. Right, okay. Skyline 2 now. The metal, oh, we're alone. Making sweet love, taking time. Pretty fucking sunrise and sand comes the morning hunting us with the beams so it's the same as far as it used to be i'm glad i've done this album now just as it's getting sunny i say that it's starting to get dull again typical england but yeah i mean i could have done this throughout the winter but it feels better i mean it's obviously a very sort of spring summer vibe to this record <laughs> Cause I'm stronger, stronger. Congo is down Smoke And comes the morning Beautiful Yeah, dude, those harmonies at the end were next level um, I know it's a decent track Moving on to self-control Okay, I, I'm hoping for something that hits me as hard as the first two tracks hit me moving forward. But, yeah, well, I mean, so far, still very, very, very strong. Love this artist. Last night, night, could we make it in? Do we have time? I be the boyfriend in your wet dreams tonight. Nothing. Keep a place for me. 
potentially talking about a relationship with uh, Willie Cartier, French model with long hair. Um, yeah, it's just musically, it's just absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's very much my sort of music. When music like this is done with a tinge of melancholy, a tinge of sadness, a tinge of um, moving into minor chord structures, it always gets me. You couple that with that voice and these lyrics, forget about it. Forget about it, mate. <laughs> Just another little short, either track or skit. Now, good guy, and then on tonight's. Okay. It's a good guy. He it up. It's a gay bar. You took me too. It's when I realized you talk too much more than I do. But now I don't care about bitches like that, my nigga. That shit, Jasmine, fucking wrecked my heart. I don't even know how to feel about bitches. Oof. Round your city, round the clock. Everybody needs you better than most people. I don't trust them anyways. You can't break the law with them. Get some good, she have a calm night. Shooters killing left and right. I hope the sack is full up. Cool. It teases the change there, doesn't it? But then he keeps going. Obviously, I have heard this song before. I never really paid attention to the lyrics. Genius tells me that it's about um, struggles with cocaine addiction and then talking about um, moving from New Orleans in post Hurricane Katrina and having to relocate to Houston. So I certainly didn't pick that up for the first time I heard it, obviously. But uh, that definitely makes it even deeper and, and puts a whole different vibe on the tracks. So I'm really going to listen to that now. Did you call me from a seance? You were from my past life. Hope you're doing well, bro. I've been out here head first, always like the head first. Signal coming in and out. Ain't no bitch in my body. New beginnings. Uh, new beginnings. Wake new up beginning. high, the sun's going down. Time to start your day, bro. My family had the acro. Oh, the legend. Kept at least six discs in the changer. Your apartment, I didn't use this while I waited. Staying with you when I didn't have an address. Fucking on you when I didn't own a mattress. Every day, shut the fuck up, I don't want your conversation. Rolling marijuana, that's a cheap vacation. Amazing track. Amazing track, given extra meaning and depth by actually understanding what it's all about. I actually forgot about the third change there. It's just an amazing piece of music. It's so creative. It's ingenious. It mixes so many genres. I guess that's what I like generally. I like things that that don't feel confined to one genre. I mean, I never have myself. And he's a person that doesn't seem to be confined to genre sort of outside of music as well, obviously in terms of sexuality, but all sorts of, you know, just everything. I don't know enough about the guy. He's a fascinating individual that I'm keen to learn more about. So moving on to solo reprise while my dog barks in the background. Um, solo that I can see under the skirt of an ant. Solo that I don't get high no more when I turn around no more. I just go, hey, you ant, I don't know what it's like with a skirt on. So part of me, if I am being insensitive, but darling, this only works on. Solo my halo, say, wait, low, it feel like it's been. Coming back different, and yeah, that shit hurts me. I'm humming and whistling to those not deserving. I stumbled and lived every word. Was I working just way too hard? That was a minute of fire. Where did that come from? I'm right, moving into pretty sweet. Another shorter short track, but two and a half minutes. SoundCloud style. Yeah. 
To the edge I race, to the end I make it. All the risk I take, it be what I need. Baby, like what I need. You said you wanna hurt me now. You can't hurt me now. I'm on this side. I'm on this side. I'm on this side. It's crazy. It's nuts all over the place. I was just telling that I got this this girl before. Facebook story. Uh, I uh, was together. So like, uh, I mean, from we'll find out who this guy is. Every day, most French guy of all time, Sebastian. Okay, that was cool. I mean, should probably just accept her on Facebook. That is a bit weird. I get what you're saying, but just accept her on Facebook. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, right, close to you now. I'll be honest. I wasn't devastated But you could've Held my hand if these belong to you After I like these little experimental tangents this album is going on Alright, moving like into uh, White Ferrari now Let me bring the lyrics up Mine on the road, your dilated eyes, central. I didn't care, white Ferrari. Stick close by me. Man, the atmosphere this is creating is unbelievable. Obviously, those warm synths, it's very like the movie Drive, the soundtrack there, but. Obviously with the image of the car as well, but it is creating a much denser atmosphere than anything on that album. OST, whatever. Familiar, spending each day of the year, white Ferrari. One too many years, sometimes two eyelids on a facelift. Somebody else, they can't. They can't as places, drama, and naked. You dream of walls that hold us in prison. It's just a skull beast, that's what they call it. And we're free to fall. Let me just read those lyrics. Can't take what's been given, but we're so okay here, we're doing fine. Primal and naked, you dream of walls that hold us in prison. It's just a skull. At least that's what they call it, and we're free to roam. I mean, that's going to take a long time to piece through, even with Genius up. I, I kind of just want to think about what that might mean. I mean, the, he, he's a prisoner of his own mind, but there's so much more to it than that. Uh, that song was very experimental and all over the place. It started out, I thought it was going to be one thing. I thought it was actually going to be almost a little poppy. I like a sort of synth wavy poppy song, uh, Future Islands-esque. But it went absolutely all over the place. Fascinating track. Alright, moving into Siegfried, which is a name that I've heard before, and I think I might know why. The markings on your surface, your speckled face. I'd rather chip my pride than lose my mind out here. Maybe I'm a fool. Taking in the homeless sometimes I've been living in an idea An 
idea from another man's mind. Oh. I'm living over the city and taking in the homeless sometimes. I've been living in an idea, an idea from another man's mind. Wow. <laughs> Very experimental track again. It's just a fun farewell to a friend. This is not my life. It's just a fun farewell to a friend. It's not what I'm. So, yeah, I think I'd heard that this track had references to Elliot Smith in it. The Fun Farewell to a Friend is a, is a track on his final album. Um, an album I can barely listen to because it was recorded basically at the same time that he plunged a dagger into his own heart and killed himself. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely some essence of Elliot in all of this album, I would say. Not necessarily musically, just sort of tonally. Elliot Smith, somebody whose music kind of lives in a dichotomy within itself it, 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 it's a dissonance between happy and sad it kind of hovers between both but 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 both at the same time a lot of his stuff almost all of it has dual vocals recorded by him layered on top of each other and that kind of adds to that vibe and i'm getting that through this whole thing um fun farewell to a friend is a heartbreaking track um fun farewell sorry i should say i mean you listen to that and it's you think about the fact that he killed himself Probably not long after making that track, writing that track, but there's still moments of, of light and happiness in there. It's it's almost too hard to talk about. Um, but, okay, yeah, this Siegfried track is very interesting. Again, the second half of this album is so experimental, it's kind of hard to get a grasp on musically, but um, you, you just have to to admire the bravery of Frank Ocean as an artist. Where's the feathers on my dash from a phoenix? There with my quicker teeth and companions sleeping. Thought that could think of dreaming a dream where I cannot. What? <laughs> I'd have to sit down and read that bit. Listen, think twice. Eat some shrooms. Maybe have a good cry about you. See some colors. Light hang glide off the moon. In the dark. To Godspeed now, final two tracks, and the last track is nearly 10 minutes long. Thanks, Frank. Let go of a prayer for you, just a sweet word. The table is prepared for you. Weird track. Again, so experimental the second half of this album. to Futura Free, which is 9 minutes 24 seconds, so um, I guess I'll see you at the other side. I am making minimum wage, mama. I'm on, mama. I'm on. Into the ground, mama. The whole galaxy. God damn fucking Hi, Jay Madness. Stream of consciousness madness. It's hard to react to, but that's what it is. How far is How far is All right, well, less a song and more just kind of a stream of consciousness experimental madness to end an album. Um, just one to kind of soak in, I guess, and, and listen to not really something that works for this format. But overall, wow, that that was really something. I mean, those first two tracks, uh, incredible, quite uh, quite honestly. Nike's, uh, Nike's, and, and Ivy, Ivy especially, that got me. Don't know, did something to me. Um, Self control it was an unbelievable track. Obviously, Nights is an incredible track. I had heard that before. Um, 
then you've got Pretty Sweet, which is all over the place. You've got White Ferrari, which started off sounding like a synth pop tune and then went crazy. Obviously, Siegfried, um, the Elliot Smith line in there. Again, very powerful track. And then Godspeed was interesting. It definitely went more experimental in the second half. Not that the first half wasn't experimental. His voice is unbelievable. I'll quite happily listen to that album many, many more times. And I'm excited to do the rest of his work. I'm excited to hear whatever new music he hopefully has coming out. And I totally understand why everybody wanted me to do this record. So there you have it. A true first reaction to Blonde by Frank Ocean by your boy JD the Prophet. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far... Let me know in the comments. I made it down below. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I should have said that at the beginning. Make sure you're following me on social media. I want to blow up the Twitter numbers. I want to blow up the Instagram numbers. We've got nearly a quarter of a million subs on Rock Reacts. I've got over 20,000 here. And we're still hovering in the 4K range on Twitter and the 2K range on Insta. On both Rock Reacts and on my ones. So let's get across and follow. I want to blow that up. It will make everything so much easier in my life. Trust me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I've been John Denton. JD the Prophet. It's been another album reaction. Keep it locked on this channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.